traditionally PC gaming was done on a desktop with a monitor that was 24 to maybe 35 inches, maybe 39, I think there's a 42, but never gigantic screen. This is huge, 65 inch. It's a 4K resolution up to 120 hertz refresh rate with ultra, ultra low latency. It's a type of latency you'd expect from a high performance G-Sync gaming monitor it's for very, very responsive gaming. It also features DCI-P3 color gamut, and uh, what we should do is take a look at some SDR and HDR images that we've captured out of Shadow of War. So let's start with an SDR image out of Shadow of War. Um, it's a beautiful image, very immersive. You can imagine that this guy uh, on a 65-inch display is a lot bigger than he would be on a 27-inch display, so it makes it a much more immersive experience right from the start. Uh, in SDR, it's not a bad scene. You've got the sun coming through uh, some dark clouds, uh, some reflections off this feature here, and some smokestacks in the middle of the screen with a, with a bit of haze. It's not bad looking, uh, but let's take a look at what it looks like in HDR. So right away, you see the intensity of the sun comes through. And this display features a full array direct backlight. Um, with hundreds of uh, individually controllable zones and so you get up to a thousand nits peak brightness so we can really illuminate that sun and make it look like a uh, real sun and we don't lose any of the details and darkness in the clouds. The reflections here starting from down here all the way up along this feature uh, very intense and bright reflections uh, there's a warmth that's coming off of that light uh, and that's the effect that the, the game developers wanted to have. And you see in the distance here, um, the smoke uh, stacks are clear and you have much more detail around, around those. In the SDR image, it was all dark. Um, so one example, let's look at another one. Again, uh, Shadow of War. Uh, this fellow here standing next to a, an erupting volcano uh, with lava flowing. Um, you've got the smoke plume with fire shooting out of the top of the volcano and uh, some reflections on this feature here. O overall not a bad scene but there's there's still something missing in this scene. Um, doesn't you know make you feel like you're standing next to a volcano. So let's look at HDR. Um, and right away you see the, the lava is much more intense. It's glowing. It's almost radiating uh, you know heat. Um, the smoke and fire plume at the top of the volcano, you can see the reds are much more saturated and bold, yet the dark smoke particles are still dark. And we've got heightened highlights. And this is a game that's uh, in HDR, 4K, and it looks absolutely uh, stunning. So if you look at, uh, we'll talk about intensity first. So if we just kind of keep going a little bit and uh, maybe stop here. Uh, there are some point sources of light and you see how bright they are, they're twinkling, very intense, and that's the, the thousand nits of luminance uh, making that effect. Uh, you've got a fellow up here welding, and if you've ever seen a welding arc uh, in real life, it's very intense and Deborah, bright, your head and down. makes you squint. No, I that's captured when that welding light is uh, illuminated. And next we'll, we'll look at colors. Uh, there's a lot of uh, green in this, this uh, image um, but it's not all the same green so we've got evergreen trees in the back those are a much very dark green this is a slightly lighter green ivy growing on the walls um, down here we've got grass now, some of it's dying it's more brown green and we've got leaves that have fallen off trees in the path and they are yellow green to brown and it's that spectrum of colors uh, that this display can express um, because it has a DCI-P3 color gamut with uh, quantum dots. So you get bold greens, bold blues and reds. Now if we walk into that, uh, that house, you'll notice this green, uh, the canopy, it's, a, it's an artificial green because it's a man-made cloth. It's not a natural, um, a natural um, occurring green and it's slightly different. Now in here, you've got these cylindrical lights and it's totally obvious, looking at those lights, that there's a, a bulb inside each one of these, these contraptions. Uh, but you see the glow of the color and the saturation and the, the clarity. Um, of red, yellow, green on the helmet, 
uh, the blue hologram in the middle of the screen, uh, and that's a, a feature of this display. It can display the spectrum of colors uh, at a bold, saturated level. Uh, this is a good scene because we've got a huge range of uh, contrast. Um, bright clouds, you can see the fine details in the clouds here. So this is a bright scene. You've got snow here, it's nice and white. Um, and then look at areas that are not illuminated. So everything outside is very bright, but look up into this house, there's no lights in this house pitch black because there's no sun there's no illumination going into that house and that's the contrast ratio um, that this this display is able to uh, able to express and lastly uh, I mentioned earlier that this display has ultra ultra low latency uh, the type of latency you'd expect from a high performance uh, G-Sync gaming monitor and so you extremely responsive uh, it's a fully functional shield uh, TV that's been integrated in here and it gives you all the functionality of Shield. So thousands of Android games including GameStream um, and with this integrated Shield games you play Android games or GameStream games that you stream from a PC um, they will now be supported with G-Sync so you get uh, no stutter, no tearing, very low input lag for Android games and GameStream games. And we also uh, of course have 4K HDR streaming um, with Shield and we've got uh, Google Voice uh, Assistant and also uh, uh, Smart Things integration so you can use this this display as a, a Z-Wave or Zigbee hub for all your smart smart devices and 